Hello everyone, I'm Vikram P. Maduri here. Welcome to JH Soft Tech. And in this session, we are discussing the SAP GST FAQs for all SAP functional consultants. This would be specifically for SAP FICO and SAP S4 HANA finance consultants. But I would recommend that this is a, a topic which every one of us have to know as an SAP consultant because this is a generic concept as well. Okay, let's move on with the uh, 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 you know frequently asked questions for interviews as well as this would be useful for your project work as well. So what is GST? GST is the path breaking initiative which was taken by Indian government in the latest Indian business scenario. It is what the government says one nation, one tax, one market. From the existing tax regime, how do you think the transaction would occur to GST? So the old taxes were halted and the next day the GST was live. So these two concepts are such that they might have created a chaos, but it was handled uh, pretty good. Uh, so now to start with the transition provision, the migration of the existing taxpayers, whether it be it VAT or uh, central excise and be it service tax, it's already under the process since uh, July last year. So what would be the impact of GST on supplies and uh, sales perspective? So in GST, there is a factor for time and place of suppliers of goods also. So now there is also a concept of reverse stack mechanism in goods as well, where the supplier of the goods and the receiver of the goods must pay taxes. So how procurement of goods and services will be impacted in the new GST regime? So procurement itself is a complicated process in GST. So primary leave all the inward materials to has to be accompanied by an invoice and the same is valid in gst regime also so now there is a big process uh, i mean like it, it, it's a, it's a process that we have to follow behind invoicing as soon as you receive invoices for materials in your organization you're supposed to upload that information on the gst network so I'm going to discuss more in detail about, uh, you know, the taxpayers who would be the responsible taxpayers for which cost goods have to be received. So I was just telling you that, you know, uh, even the, in the vendor have to be paying the, you know, uh, uh, tax. So I'll be explaining you in detail about that topic uh, later. So what is ISD in terms of GST? So ISD means input service distributor isd is tax taken out from ex central excise and service tax and is a new concept for state legislation so as earlier it was in central excise and service taxes so isd concept will be used in place of centralized registration as the same has been scrapped in gst so how gst is going to impact every other aspect of business so every aspect of uh, business will be affected by gst like sales and distribution finance accounts payable bill passing system and supply chain logistics it and erp is also so everywhere the gst uh, would be impacted and what will be the impact of gst on SEZs? so as per model igst law the supply of sale of a SEZ developer will be zero rated so SEZ unit will be treated as interstate supplier How do organizations uh, gate themselves up for upcoming challenges of uh, GST? So service pack released by SAP and which are mandatory to be implemented. Those are basically to activate the GST level changes on the screen level. Secondly, for implementation of GST, the customer should be one tax INN process procedure. So all those customers were still running on tax, tax ING uh, procedure need to be uh, migrated to text INN procedure. So ING procedure to INN procedure. Now these are the two mandatory steps which need to be performed before the GST implementation. One is changing from ING procedure to INN procedure. And uh, you know the, we need to implement the patch which actually is being provided by SAP. Now it is necessary to deactivate all existing exercise functionality. Exercise functionality. Is it true? Not necessarily. To deactivate the existing excise functionality the customers can continue with the excise existing excise functionalities and without touching the existing functionalities we can implement gst so how do we manage hsm and ssa 
codes in the SAP system. GST is coming up with the concept of HSM and SSC HSM. HSM is uh, already available, uh, which is being uh, followed by for an input by customs. But SSC is something new, which will be implemented in the GST regime. It's already been in process right now. It's, it's happening right now. So how SAP will tackle the mismatch concept of GST? So when the S when the GST taxpayers e filing e filing their invoices on the GST networks, automatically the reconciliation takes place. However, the GST providers have been told to give additional functionality to reconcile a purchase register with the inward invoices filed by the vendors. So how would SAP interact with GST network portal? Only registers and registered entities need to file their invoices through the GST network. However, SAP is planning to provide required interfaces to upload the invoices in the GST network, which has already been done right now. So we are well prepared for what makes the functionality smooth for our customers to upload their invoices on the GST network. So what needs to be done in terms of master data management? The master data will have a major impact Hence, the implementation will only be successful if the master data is ready in the beginning itself. So how would how would the destination based taxation will be mapped in SAP system? There is a something called a place of supply in tax regime where the taxation is going to be determined whether it is going to be IGST, CGST or SGST. As per the current situation of supply and procurement, the destination is always a dynamic situation. So how open sales order and open purchase orders will get accounted in the context of shifting of to GST. There would be a lot many open purchase orders and sales orders available on the date of go live for GST. So it may happen that we have to close the existing open orders which are not executed or partly executed. In such cases, the customers must renegotiate with their vendors when it comes to GST because tax rate is also going to get uh, changed and there will be an impact on the land, landed cost of material or services and the rates may increase for or decrease. So after the negotiation, the renegotiation, the open purchase orders and the sales orders will be closed and fresh orders need to be created in the SAP system. Once GST is applicable, is it necessary for us to deactivate the excise functionalities? There is no need for us to deactivate the excise functionalities since excise and GST will coexist for certain specific materials, not for all. Is CIN required in going ahead for implementation of GST? Separate activation is not required for CIN because it is not delivered as an add-on I don't any longer it is a part of standard EHPS as of now will it be suitable for us to reassign the present plan to new business places created for GST uh, due to historical data that will not be possible can implicit can we implicit implicit code be written for the new fields extension in the BAPI for customers yes customers are required to extend on their own has SAP released a note for DDIC changes? Yes, all the changes in DDIC have already been given and the changes of HSN and SEC code in the BSEG and BSET tables are listed via note 2415115. In SAP, is it possible to capture the vendor GST invoice for the ERS program? Yes, the invoice is posted automatically in ERS. Therefore, it's possible to capture the GST invoice number. This is utilized in GST returns. During MIRO, is there a manual way of delivering tax conditions specifically for any exceptions such as uh, FI bills, HSN code, different cre creditable or in the non-creditable items? In SAP, the reference conditions will be delivered. The customers are able to create manual conditions and consequently, utilize them at the time of MIRO. Reverse charge configuration for material as well as services. Is it, is it done? So SAP always delivers the reverse charge conditions. At present, there is some clarification pending from a legal standing standpoint. So tax conditions 
uh, that legal standpoint is now uh, clear clear so tax conditions for advance payments sap in sap we are waiting for some legal clarification which are scheduled for delivery in wave 3 which has already been scheduled and it's already been done it's sorted out so are the auto posting in vendor accounts grounded on the mismatch which are reported by gst and are these envisioned by sap sap in sap all of these are a part of sap digital compliance application so the mismatch details will be visible in the application and the changes are not uh, mechanically made in the SOS system. Changes in the pricing procedure and maintenance of access sequence. So how about that? In SAP, the customers will be able to add to the reference conditions and access sequence and these will be delivered. While raising CNs and DNs, are there any impacts? So with the regards to the original invoice number, the credit and uh, debit notes should also be uploaded into the gst does sap offer the designs for stock transfers invoices credits and debit note sap there are a few formats which are still pending and have been scheduled for delivery in phase three so for more details uh, we can refer to the proposed development uh, roadmap which i'll be discussing in the other sessions so for gst localization which all sap modules are in scope the modules supported for GST are SAP MM, SAP SD, SAP FI, SAP SRM, CRM, Real Estate. So uh, the material management people are, would be interacting with, uh, with the vendors. So obviously they need that and sales, distribu sales and distribution people would be, you know, uh, connecting with the customer. So we need to know about the GST and it would be impacted for sure. Finance, definitely it's a core of... Uh, core of the entire business so it is going to be affected in a big way and uh, supplier relationship management customer relationship management and real estate also will affect uh, they, they will be uh, in scope of the gst so all other modules for example the industry specific retail asset accounting finance controlling accounting or dbs or warranty claim for financial services uh, collections management and transportation etc are out of the scope now are the ev evaluated receipt settlement ers mrl maintained for gst no all of these functionalities have never been reinforced for india and these will also be applicable for gst2 why are the only why are only the enjoy transactions are protracted as for gst enjoy transactions are basically related to those invoices and corresponding credit memo only uh, that is fb60 65 fb70 75 and these will be extended with the gst specific fields so classical transactions like fb01 are not limited for invoice and uh, therefore will not be extended by these fields so sap trainings Online work is to enrich online SAP trainings uh, through impressive and uh, real-time teaching solutions. And uh, yeah, so this would be our team uh, who are most important components of delivering that vision. So our sole maxim is to introduce training to make, our, make, you, make you industry ready and to excel in your careers. Thanks for watching, watching this video. Do let me know uh, which would be the topic you would like to uh, view the video about and I'll try to make it uh, very soon. So here, if, if at all, if you like our video, do subscribe to our channel www.youtube.com slash jsofttech and do write me uh, suggestions uh, as well. So if at all, if you are looking for SAP trainings, contact us at uh, info at Thank you. Have a great day.